Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am doing FTL, which you probably didn't expect me to do ever again, but uh, there's a good reason for it. Um, I was on vacation recently and I didn't really post anything, but uh, during my vacation I actually had the opportunity to play some FTL, and uh, well, it's really not a surprise since you've probably read the video title already, and you know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, the Stealth Ship Type B. Now if you remember I did the Stealth Ship Type A, and in that one I basically said I'd never touch the B because it was too luck based. And, you know, some other shit like that. Like, I just, I, I was always frustrated with it. However, you know, because it was such a difficult ship, um, I, I, I think it's one of the hardest ones in the game. People think it's like NGB or whatever, but I don't think that's too hard. Uh, but I actually managed to beat the game with this one. Um, and it wasn't on this computer, unfortunately, but, uh, so I can't show you the score or whatever, but, um, I'll, I'll do it for you. Um, and it's actually kind of cool. And before I continue, you know, if you have FTL and you've never beaten it with this, if you've never tried this ship, I, I highly recommend you do. Um, cause it's, uh, it's, it's really, it's really challenging. Uh, I, that's all I have to say, it's just, it's ridiculous. So like, I honestly, I do recommend you give it a good try, a uh, good shot before you, before you do anything, like, before you watch this. Cause I'm pretty much gonna tell you exactly how you win with this. Uh, it does come down to a bit of luck, um. But you can bring that luck mostly in your favor uh, if you play this ship right. And so the whole reason the ship is so difficult opposed to the other stealth ship is uh, the stealth ships are notorious for not having shields. They do not start with shields at all, so I have no shields here. Uh, the real problem becomes that the fact I don't have a lot of evade, uh, like the evade is, is garbage on this thing because it's just two bars. The other stealth ship has four. Four bars of engines. Uh, and I do have two, I do start with two bars of cloak though, so I get a bit more cloak to go with it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's still the same deal with the sensors, and you also get the long-range scanners and all that kind of crap. Um, and honestly, the stealth ships are my favorite in this game. This is why I continuously played this one, much to my own torture and, and frustration. But eventually I did win. And, and, uh, the main reason you play this ship is it has a giant fucking railgun beam on it. Uh, and so if you read what this says, it says, it, this requires four power. Uh, and its charge time is 25 seconds, but it does 3 damage uh, per room hit, and it'll get reduced by 1 for each unit of shields it has to pass through. Uh, so you can kind of see what the issue is here. Like, it's it's a very powerful ship, but requires a very long time to charge, and all that kind of crap. So, we're playing on normal, as I said. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess I have no reason to prevent this any longer. Um, just to let you know, I am using a mod to, uh, to make the backgrounds more beautiful just because, um, you know, I, I've played this game so much at this point that I figured I'd, you know, um, change up a little bit of something. Because I wasn't really interested in doing mods. Okay. So for crew, this is how it goes, okay? Uh, the Zoltan you never want in the weapons room, because if you ever bring him out for whatever reason, uh, your glaive beam becomes uncharged as you just saw by example. He He's the guy in the engine room at all times. Uh, that's it. Well, not at all times, but you'll, you'll get the, the gist of it. Um, the guy in the weapons room, you want to try and have a guy in weapons room uh, because of the fact that you want that glaive beam to charge as fast as humanly fucking possible. Uh, but, you know, it's it's one of those things. And the whole the whole challenge to this ship is the fact that if your weapon weapons room gets hit once, the glaive beam becomes unpowered. Which is a huge fuck you to this ship because it's just like it's so frustrating to have to charge it all over again because you just basically get fucked and you don't and early on especially you don't have enough power to charge your FTL drive that fast so we're gonna start off with a distress beacon today uh, it's gonna be same deal as before I'm going to just play uh, towards the, to the boss and if I get to the boss and you know more power to me but uh, uh like well like that's that's the minimum I'm going for basically so there's a distress call there's diseases spread uh, and the right seems likely. I'm gonna ignore the request because this is this is just you're just asking for some of your crew to die. And now we're going to face our first ship, and you're gonna see exactly a strategy here. All right. And so he goes Federation Scrum. Uh, um, one second. I actually uh, did not change. Remember, remember, pause game, delete. It's my last ship I did. Okay. I'm gonna to have to actually pause it. So whenever you face any ship. Uh, I might as well just have the blade beam on auto fire. Um, you basically want to hit as many rooms as possible. Same with beam weapons as you saw before. But you always want to hit the shield room first. 
because that will do more subsequent damage to uh, the, the rooms beside it. So that will bring their shields down completely, and then I'll do three damage to each of these rooms. So two damage here, three, three, three. Now, the way you try and win this early on is, is it is fucking luck. It really is. So when they fire, you take power out of oxygen and you put it into cloak. And that's what you do. And then what you can do is you can move your guy into the oxygen, the, into the, the cloak room. And then you move him out when he's done. And you actually, this is kind of like a little bit of a cheat sort of a thing. It's like, it's, as I said, it's not an actual cheat. It's kind of just like you take power from the, uh, you normally can't take power from it because it's disabled. But since I had the Zoltan here and he moved into another room, uh, it took away the power. And now I can actually power my oxygen and my engines at the same time. Anyways, um, so they're going to offer me goods because they don't, they want to live and all that kind of shit. Um, he's gonna give me eight missiles and two drone parts. I will take it, and there's a good reason for that. Um, you want to stockpile missiles uh, as many as possible. You don't want to sacrifice them. Drones, you don't have to really care about. Uh, by the end system, you'll probably have like a some sort of defense drone. Uh, but for now, like just tr just trust me on this. You want missiles. Like the more missiles, the better. Uh, just so you don't have to buy them later. It becomes much better this way. All right. There's an automated ship. He has a. Uh, Absolutely no shields, but it's really not a problem for me this early on, so I'm just gonna attack the provoking ship. He has a cloak too, so whatever. Beam weapons are a fucking bitch, because basically beam weapons will just screw your day. Alright, because the way beam weapons work is they have a 100% chance to hit. And so right now I'm gonna actually cloak to evade that shot. And the other thing is though, while I'm cloaked, I'm actually delaying the... Um, uh, delaying his charge time for some of his weapons, but I can't dodge the beam weapon. So if the beam weapon hits me, I have no chance to evade that. So you know uh, that could have that could have gone so much worse though. Uh, I'm, if he hits me here, I'm gonna be so mad. That missile is like fucking. It looks like it's on a projector. Uh, it's probably going to my doors. Oh no, it's going there. Who cares? But you know what? Once that glaive beam charges, you one hit freaking everything. It's great. Uh, okay, it looks like I'm gonna have no choice but to go through an asteroid field, uh, which is uh, pretty much going to screw me. And there's gonna be a ship there waiting for me. I love that. Alright. Uh, yeah, okay, we got another... Basically, I'm, it's the same deal. I'm trying to kill all the ships. This is a, a worse ship to face because of the fact it has uh, spread out rooms like this. And the glade beam is not actually that... You see, I can't really do much with this. So, I can do this. Uh, it won't bring down his shields, but it should bring down his weapons. That's why I usually do it in this kind of a case, because I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. And so basically, the whole idea is I'm, I'm waiting for him to fire his weapon so that I can basically uh, dodge, have a very high chance to dodge with my power, and then kind of go into a cloak room. Because he's not going to fire his weapons while I'm cloaked, right? and wait until the cloak finishes and just leave. So this is the strategy basically for early on, so I basically don't have to have my people suffocating. There you go, I took I took out his weapons. And since I have it on auto fire, I'm, I can be lazy and not, not do it again. Um, if I had gone for a shields room first, uh, it actually wouldn't have done anything, because I would have done just one more damage to this room or something. And here, welcome to the problem of this ship. He, he just hit my, my weapon and I have to restart the charge all over again. And this is, this is the frustration of this ship. I can cloak, though, to delay his, his bomb a little more. Alright. Oh, please don't depower the glade beam. There we go. Oh, wait. And I just, I just took away power from the cloak by accident. Oh, well. Uh, it's okay. I don't need oxygen. Oxygen's a pretty dumb mechanic. We can, we can wait though, because it's just like, it's as, as soon as this glade beam charges, we're good. Oh god, I can't, I don't have a cloak. Okay. Thank goodness. Because look at that, two of those shots hit, even though I have a 20% chance to evade. And so I got some resources, and he goes, we've been harassed non-stop by these guys, take this on the house, and he gave me a bunch of missiles, scrap, and fuel, and whatever. Alright, let's just go and uh, heal this stuff. And uh, we'll also go uh, heal our people in the... So... Early on, your your strategy is mostly to um, uh, to just kind of live, uh, but when you get the when you get the ability to get the cloak, you put it in immediately. There's a very good reason for that, and you will see. 
Uh, also, I should probably power up oxygen. Okay, Canned was on weapons before, so let's put him on. Now, the guy- the, your guy on weapons will never fucking level up because it just takes way too long to level that up. And your guys on evade will never level up because they're not gonna get much evasion in when you're cloaking because, you know, evasion doesn't count when you're cloaked. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of how it works. So, uh, as of right now, I have a three-bar cloak. Which is pretty nice, and I'll show you why we have a three-bar cloak. Oh god, okay. We don't want to fight this guy because Zoltan Shields are like the direct counter to Glaive Beam because... Yeah, but you also have to be kind of smart in the systems you go into. You avoid Zoltan systems at all costs because they're just... They're just total dicks. Like, the Zoltan Shield is just gonna fuck you every day of the week because, as I said, two shots to fire gives him more of an opportunity to kill you. But we're not fighting him. Let's go into an Astrid Field instead. That seems like a really good idea. Alright. So, there's a ship... Lay, laying. Okay, so uh, we have to fight him in an asteroid field. The reason why this is not a great position for me is because of the fact that, uh, you know, I, I'm in an asteroid field. The asteroid's going to hit me no matter what every day of the week. So the, the strategy here, though, is going to be I have to get the fuck out of it. Basically, I wouldn't want to go in here in the first place, but obviously I didn't have a choice. Um, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to remove power from everything, put power into the cloak, and cloak. And what the three bar cloak now does is he won't get his weapons charged in time. However, uh, he will set my ship on. The, the asteroids do have a bit of a chance of, to actually hit me. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take power from the cloak. Okay, and that's that's done. So as soon as that glade beam charges, hopefully the game doesn't fuck me. And, okay, there you go. See, it's a one hit kill. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, let me depower the glade beam. Let me put it into oxygen. Yeah, you see, this is the problem. I, I don't dodge anything, so I'm gonna take damage here no matter what. All right, and now let's get the hell out of here. Thank God. Phew. Okay, we got a hull smasher laser. Yay! And that's just a, oh, just a laser. All right, so let's get people to, to actually repair some of this crap. Um, so, you know, the whole point of this ship, though, is I don't want to actually replace the the glade beam, because, you know, it is seriously really freaking powerful. It is really, it's it's the most powerful weapon in the game. It's the whole reason you play this ship. Because, man, three damage per room, it's good. So, it's, your whole build has to be around it, right? So, lasers aren't really going to help much with that, so I'm actually going to sell it the, as soon as I get to a store, because uh, that's not what I'm looking for. What I am looking for is a bomb weapon. And that's why you're keeping, that's why you're trying to get as many missiles as humanly fucking possible, because missiles, man, missiles are good. Missiles are good for this ship. I wonder if I can get to this nebula and kind of go around in a circle, maybe to that store. Um, I guess I'll know when I get there. Alright. Uh, I think we're ready. We just have to charge our cloak. Um, so at this point, another power bar is not actually out of the question. Uh, that way I don't have to depower oxygen every time, like, be, my people don't have to suffocate whenever... Uh, as I said, I have my, my defensive ability now, so it's okay. As I said, the cloak is the most important thing. Uh, we, we want to attack him because it's a free experience for us. So in this case, he is a cloaker, so we're not actually going to cloak our weapon because, uh, because we have a glaive beam to worry about. Alright, and so now we cloak. And now, oh, he hit us. See, sometimes they just hit you, but you got to be smart about it. That's that's how that's how you win with the ship is you just have to play as smart as possible. It's a very unforgiving ship. I will not lie to you. All right, let me just take power from that. There we go. And equalize uh, uh, pressure. Unfortunately, this is gonna take forever to freaking charge up again. So this is like one of the the ships that can can pretty much hurt you. There we go. Okay, we're done with this place. Because guess what? We were almost done charging the glade beam, and guess what happened? A fucking oh god, it's just done. Uh, we need to leave this place. So it it a lot of this ship does matter. Like it does matter how well you're capable of. Why did I go directly here? Okay, let's go into the manipula, because that's a great idea. 
Alright, uh, so there's a there's a heavily damaged uh, ship hiding in Nebula. Before you can make contact with them, they fade into, uh, fade into Nebula. I'm gonna use my long range scanner. I'm gonna pump extra power into my senses to try and track them. Uh, well, we get it. Uh, a large object uh, in the clouds nearby, however, it's enough to get coordinates when you find a ship. It's an empty hull, but we get, th we get 13 scrap out of it. Let's just wait for that fire to go away. Sounds like there's more fire, if you listen carefully. Alright, actually, let me get this guy in here too, because he can, he deserves to... Oh, I can get everybody to fucking do this. This is this is a co-op uh, co part, you know? Everyone has to help out with this. So right now, things are not looking good. I've actually gotten pretty unlucky during this run so far, because I've met a couple of ships that have hit my weapons, and I also went through an asteroid field, which took a bit for a bit of my uh, hull, hull integrity away. However, I'm still alive, uh, which is much better than, you know, I could say for most of my runs with this ship. Uh, because I, I just, you know, get killed immediately. Um, so, let's go. I, w I would love to go up to that store and see what they have in store for me. So, let's go there. Okay, so it's just eerily quiet here. It's nothing nothing to speak about. Alright, let's go to the store. And then we'll come back down. Alright, let's see. Uh, we got a firebomb, which is not the kind of bomb I want, because that doesn't actually damage subsystems. So this is useless to me. Um, I don't want crew. I'm going to depend upon luck for crew for the time being. Uh, but there's time for getting crew at the end, if I really need to. Uh, as I said, my priorities right now are just uh, maximizing survivability. Um, don't worry about shields. Usually the biggest mistake people do with this ship I realize is that they, they go directly for the shields, because they think that's going to be the thing that keeps them alive. No, it won't. Um, you honestly need to get as much evasion as stack evasion for early on and stuff like that. So Hulse Monster Laser, don't want that. Uh, and with that I can actually go and buy some more fuel and, and some hull integrity. And let's go to, directly to the exit since uh, if we don't then the Rebel Flagship will be here. Alright, when it's charged we can jump to the next sector and let's go jump to the next sector. So we either get an option between... A, um, now remember that nebulas are total bullshit for you. You don't really want to go to nebulas uh, because it it defeats the purpose of some of your your uh, stealth ship strengths. So in my case, I'm actually like I'm planning this out beforehand. I'm actually going to want to go down and around. So I'm going to try and not go through the nebula. Although one of these could be a Zoltan sector, but that can be a Zoltan sector too, for all I fucking know. Uh, I don't actually know if they're hostile. I think they're civilian, though. Whatever. But we're going to go through the civilian sector though. So as I said, the worst things for you are. Uh, Zoltan sectors and nebula sectors in that order, basically, so it's kind of interesting. Actually, Witchel needs to, to heal up a little bit. You want my crew at full strength. So, uh, we've done the first sector, which is not so bad. Uh, and so we're gonna plot a course to kind of go in the center here and see what everything's all about there. And I have no need- uh, once again, Zoltan shield, not gonna fight it. Not worth it. Not worth it to fight the mercenaries. Normally you would, but, you know, in this case, no. All right, forward scout and the rebel sheep. They're they're powering FTL engines, which is not good, um, because in this case he actually probably will get away. Because uh, as I said, 25 second charge time. Uh, it's it's up for debate if I'm going to be able to do this, and it's not fair. It really isn't. Like it's 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 total bullshit. But you know, what are you going to do about it? All right, let me go get my thing back. As but all I need is one hit. Like one hit, he's dead. That's it. He's dead. It's, it's amazing how powerful the ship is. It's a lot of fun, uh, but, you know, it's you got to deal with the bullshit that comes with it, too, to be able to use the weapon to it. Okay, uh, we did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship uh, shatter dreams of a better galaxy. Okay, whatever. They're like, the Rebels are like Hitler, what can you say? All right, so once again, cloak immediately off the bat, which is like, you know, it, you don't think it's a very practical strategy. I know it seems crazy. But it actually is, it works. It's a working strategy because it's just like... You notice how the last ship, they didn't even charge our freaking weapons before my glade beam fired at them. And I can one-hit basically everything right now. And there you go. Power back in weapons. And he's gonna give me fuel missiles. We'll take that because fuel missiles are both pretty good for us. Uh, sure, we'll go to Distress Beacon next. So I've, I'm accumulating lots of fueled missiles, you know, because that's that's pretty good. Uh, so there's a uh, there's a source of distress call, small research station. 
fire suppression is not because uh, it's on fire and just fire suppression system is not responding. I'm gonna try and dock, even though there's a chance we're gonna lose somebody. I'm gonna take the risk. Uh, I got some. Uh, basically, I look at the high concentration of life form, uh, highest concentration of life forms, bring the ship alongside the station. Uh, before you can begin to offload the survivors, a huge blast splits the station apart. Your ship is thrown away, it's some debris, it goes flying, and I didn't save anybody, but I got some scrap out of it, so. I didn't lose anybody, so it's okay. Uh, we could go to the store, I guess. Sure, let's go to the store. Hopefully we'll get some sort of bomb weapon here. Uh, nope. But we can get a scrap recovery arm, that's, uh, that's really good for this early on, so we get some more scrap. I'm good with that, and we'll get some more everything. So, uh, so yeah, scrap recovery arm, obviously in any ship, it's, it's good to get. The thing you're really looking out for, though, if you ever see a weapon pre-igniter, oh god, the, the game just turns completely, like, you know, you, you wreck everything in the game, basically, at, when you get that, so, you know, it's just something important to know. Um, there's an automated ship floating here. Now, you saw me fight a rebel drone like this before. You know, I'm gonna weigh my options here. I'm gonna say I don't really want to fight this because it does take like two shots to take out. Uh, so I'm gonna just get the scrap out of it. Plus, I'm I'm almost near the end, and this that information is really not valuable to me at this point. Let's be honest now, because there's not a whole lot I'm gonna get out of it. I'm almost at, out of the sector, anyways. Uh, I can repair damage. I don't think I will, because I only have one point of damage missing. So it's it's all about you know this is like I think like end end game ship. Uh, there's nearby nearby ship. There's a warranting quarantine under level five under effect on this this planet. It's really nothing. Uh, there's another store. Okay. Well, I really don't have another reason. I can maybe go there after this ship and see what's there. Uh, so there is another ship here, and I think I will attack him. Despite the fact he might completely fuck me over. All right. Get ready to charge our cloak. Come on, fire your thing. Fire. There you go. And you know, I, I kind of fucked that up because actually, you, you want to have your uh, your power and evade still, actually, because of the fact that um, it'll raise your. Because they, they do have a chance to hit, actually. Uh, it's kind of bullshit, but they have a chance to hit. Alright, let's go take power out of it. Now. Yeah, that, I, there's nothing I can do about that. Unfortunately, fortunately, he hit just my engines. I couldn't give half a shit about my engines. Oh, don't hit that. Okay, good. Can we go investigate the station? Got an anti-ship beam drone one. Uh, so it's uh, this little guy here, if you remember me ever using him. Um, obviously, don't really give a shit about beam, beam drones especially. Um, that's not useful to the ship at all. Uh, in fact, drones in general are not really that useful to this ship. Um, maybe an attacking drone, you can bring down shields by one and then glaive beam or something. I don't really know. Um, generally, I don't think the the beam drones are worth the effort. So I, I don't really bother with that at all. Alright, so we can go to the store and then down. Because now we can go sell the beam drone. We got a lot of scrap out of it too. So uh, we send our way party down to check out the store. So once again, they're, they're taunting you with shields here. And this is why everybody goes like, oh god, I should get these shields. But... It's not a good idea, trust me. Uh, so let's go sell this guy. Um, and there is an uh, there is an S bomb here, and that's good enough. So the thing, the great thing about bombs is, opposed to missiles, is um, bombs can't be shot down. So that's they're automatically better because uh, you're you're taking a big chance if you start buying missile weapons. And also, this missile weapon requires three power, and this one only requires one. So there's not too much of an advantage to to using. Oh, look at this. This is like three power and three damage per shot, uh, opposed to this one, which is like you know, two damage per shot, technically. Although, it only does system damage, not the hull. But, you know what? I don't care, because I have a giant fucking laser beam to hit and kill the fucking hull, so, you know. So, we actually will buy this. Um, even though I can't power right now, uh, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it around, so... Don't worry about it. So, let's go and buy some fuel, and fix up our hull, and I think we're good now. Now, I'm not buying missiles, obviously, because I, I, I'm just looking for missiles. I'm not going to trade them uselessly for things like drones or whatever. Because, you know, I have four drones. That's technically enough for, for this game. So so I can sell missiles for scrap. Now, um, I, I know I'm being hypocrite, but, you know, I, I need a bit more scrap. So I'll sell five missiles, basically, for that. Like, it's not too much out of my missile collection. I'll get a bit more scrap out of it. So I st 16 is still a lot. So 
but I may regret that decision in a second. So, remember, never go to Zoltan's, always go to Civilian and whatever else. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Yeah, new sector. Let's get to the, the beacon before uh, the dumb rebels find me. So yeah, so uh, this is so far uh, Starship B, and I'm 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 three sectors in. So let's uh, let's see how I do next time. So see you later. Bye.